Trey Coach just said, looking back at film, I mean, the main difference is you guys are missing shots that, that you've been making. What, what have you guys seen going through the film of the last two games? Um, exactly what he said to build off it. We've just been missing shots. We've been getting great looks. Our offense has not took any hit or anything. We just haven't hit the open shots that we usually do throughout the season. Trevor, what you guys can do defensively with so many different zones and threats and everything like that, how difficult of a matchup could you guys be when you're at your best on the defensive end? Uh, we're one of the best teams in the country when we can do that. I mean, we can switch from any type of lineup, any type of type of defense, no matter the lineup, um, man-to-man, zone, we can press, we can do in anything and everything. So I think that's a good advantage for us. I think that can take us deep into March the, in April. The, the, I'm sorry, the zone you played at Arkansas, like just how well did you feel like that was working when it, when it was working, especially in the first half? It was well, but I just watched film. Um, it had some lapses um, by myself. Um, I got a little flat in the um, zone, but we watched film on it. We're going to make that adjustment, and um, it'll be different come tomorrow. For both of you just returning back here after some road games, some road losses, just what's that feeling like to be able to come back home for some games? Let me just come back here. Huh? Yeah, good old Phil Brooks. Good grade to help my team. You know, we are just going to be on court. I think, I think that road trip with those two losses kind of gave us that hunger we had back um, before we got ranked in the top 25. We had that um, mindset of being the hunter, and then when we got that number, we were being the hunted. So I think it's great to have that uh, mindset back. Mo, through the first few weeks of the season, what was Coach telling you he wanted to see out of you to earn some playing time? And, and you know, what do you think he, he's done in the last few weeks to, to earn that? Well, it helps me to be a good player on the court, to be calm in practice, to be better at the walk, walk, walk. That's what I do. So that's why right now I do all I do so. <laughs> Mo, you've got a, a, a few more minutes in, in the past couple of games, just with, with those being two road games, new conference, what what was that experience like for you? How, how different is it to what you've, you've experienced in the past? That's a new start for me. I don't know that I'm for a good call. Um, right now, I'm doing the best of things I can in the house right now. So I try my best and every time I focus on my team, so that's what I think. I mean, that was his first uh, D1 game on the road playing at a high level. So I think he did really good. So I think he's going to be prepared for any situation he has, especially at home with our fans coming up tomorrow. Trey, what does having a guy with his size allow you guys to do differently? Uh, allow us to pressure the ball more, you know, get on the line, you know, kind of trying to cause more havoc, more on the ball. So we know we got a shot blocker like him, Kobe Brown, Noah Carter, and Boy at the rim. So it kind of just gives us that confidence that we can take a little bit more Risk, I guess, on the ball, knowing that we have guys like him defensively to help us. Trey, when you're going through the stretches where maybe you know shots aren't falling, things aren't going your way, how much does just the level of experience in college basketball and this roster help? Uh, it, it helps a lot. I mean, it just takes it back to you know it's just a game of runs. I feel like once that happened, I didn't get the guys together to pick it up on a defensive end, and I take the hit on that. But we just should have picked our defense up more. But our experience has definitely helped with that. With a young team, they would have just panicked and would have just crumbled to a 30, 40 point lead. When you go on these, you know, difficult road environments, does it give you more appreciation for for what your own home environment can create? Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, on the road is a good experience, but I still don't think there's no fan base in the SEC as good as we have it at Mizzou Arena. So I appreciate our fans, and we would love for them, you know, pack out the house come Wednesday, Saturday, and all the other home games to come. You mentioned kind of going from you know back to being kind of the hunter mentality after falling out of the rankings. What have you know some of the responses you've seen just in these couple practices since kind of returning home, trying to get back in that win column? Um, the overall competitiveness probably picked up. You know, guys are getting at it. You know, gets a little heated and we all hungry. So I think that's just really what happened. We all being more competitive and you know when you got that that number beside your name, you get a little comfortable. It's kind of human nature, but. Now that we got that stripped away from us, I feel like we got that hunger back knowing that we need to do to, you know, get back into that top 25 come come April. Anything else? Mo, amongst your uh, uh, teammates, you know, who's developed their, their French the best? <laughs> <laughs>
I actually have a question for you, Mr. Mo Mohammed. Um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I might, I might intern with me. You, you want to ask him a question oh, first? Okay, first. Uh, uh, so I just want to know who has the most bounce on the team, and why is it Otis Gale? That's you. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Romilia, what do you what are your thoughts on the cam cam, and uh, what, like how has it changed your life like off the court? Um, I don't really think it's changed my life. I think it's changed up uh, Benjamin Sternberg's life, and I think it's helped his YouTube build to where it's at today. I mean, he has a great YouTube and a great personality, but I think the cam cam is what sets it over the top. So you're saying that's the like the best it's, part of the video? It's not the best part, but I think it might be the main attraction. Uh, probably this little heart right here. Me and my mom and my brother and my sister, we all got matching uh, hearts. That was my mom's first tattoo. First tattoo she got like uh, a couple months ago. So Probably that one. Thank you. All right, and uh, Mr. Mohammed, I actually have uh, one more question for you. I just didn't know how to pronounce it. I typed it in.